Blessed is he who reads aloud the words of the prophecy, and blessed are those who hear, and who keep what is written therein, for the time is near. He is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see him, everyone who pierced him, and all the tribes of the earth will wail on account of him. Those of you who have not learned what some call the deep things of Satan. I know your works. I know your toil and your patient endurance. And how you cannot hear evil men, but have tested those who call themselves apostles, but are not, and found them to be false. I know you are enduring patiently and bearing up for my name's sake, and you have not grown weary, but I have this against you, that you have abandoned the love you had. And I saw a beast rising out of the sea with ten horns and seven heads and a blasphemous name upon its head. And the beast that I saw was like a leopard, its feet were like a bear's, and its mouth was like a lion's mouth, and to it the dragon gave his power. And the whole earth followed the beast with wonder. Men worshiped the dragon, for he had given his authority to the beast. And they worshiped the beast, saying, who is like the beast, and who can fight against the beast? It opened its mouth to utter blasphemous words against God. It was allowed to make war on the saints and to conquer them. And authority was given it over every tribe and a people and tongue and nation. And all who dwell on earth will worship it in vain. If anyone has an ear, let him hear. If anyone who slays with the sword, with the sword, then he must be slain. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, and I heard a great voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling of God is with men. He will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. And God himself will be with them. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain anymore. For these things will have passed away. To the thirsty I will give water without price from the fountain of the water of life. He who conquers shall have this heritage, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But as for the cowardly, the faithless, the polluted, as for the murderers, fornicators, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars, their lot shall be in the lake that burns with fire. And he said to me, Do not seal up the words of the prophecy, for the time is near. Behold, I am coming soon.